Kilifi became the latest county to unveil a health complex exclusively to help prevention of COVID-19 cases. The new ultra-modern facility has been fitted with 150 beds together with six ICU beds fully fixed with ventilators. Area Governor Amazon Kingi also unveiled COVID-19 doctor's residence that can accommodate 14 medical personnel who are in the front line dealing with the pandemic. Kwa hivyo tusiende kule tukasema kwamba sasa kama kilifi kio ni hospitali tuko nayo kama ni vifaa tuko navyo kwa hivyo sasa mimi sijali tena nikipata corona niko complex this is not a five star hotel this is a hospital na kama tujuavyo hospitali kuna mawili kuna kuingia na kutoka umepona Na kuna kuingia na kutoka ukondani ya jeneza. This coming as governors poured cold water to calls to have health function reverted back to the national government. Led by Council of Governors Chairman Weekly for Paranya, the county chiefs insist that devolved units have successfully managed the sector in the best interest of all Kenyans. They further called for the establishment of international border protocols to control movement of persons from one region to another to curb spread of the coronavirus. We need a COVID-19 protocol when dealing with the neighboring countries and we are waiting for this. Any attempt to take back health care to the national government will be basically finishing Kenya. We'll go back to the 1960s. It will be a tragedy. Na naomba wananchi wote katika nchi yetu ya Kenya tupinge ufisadi na tupinge ukora wa kusema mambo irudi pale center. In the meantime, Maendeleo ya Wanawake Organization has rallied women across the country to engage elected leaders and develop programs aimed at sensitizing respective communities on guidelines issued by the Ministry of Health. The organization's chairperson Rehab Muyu says women must play a proactive role in efforts aimed at containing the spread of coronavirus pandemic. My and Leo leaders and other women in the wards, in the sub-counties, like you have always said, to be in the forefront in observing the social distancing, the washing of hands, which is extremely effective with soap and running water, wearing the mask like we all look, and only go out when it is necessary. And Sona Angels Factory, with over 3,000 employees in Riru, has been closed indefinitely for allegedly breaching government directives in the fight against COVID-19. The COVID-19 response team, led by the Deputy County Commissioner Geoffrey Gidenji, observed that the factory's employees did not observe social distance, as well as failure to install hand-washing points or sanitizers dispensers in the premises. The company operations be stopped there and then immediately. No operations in that company. And I want to repeat again, we are not punishing the company. We want to work with them through this journey. In Kirinyaga, Area Governor Ann Mumbi Waigoro says a multi-million health center project in Moya constituency, which had stalled for seven years, will be revived. According to the governor, the health center has been allocated 8 million shillings and is set to be completed in the next one and a half months in order to boost the war on coronavirus. Um, across the county, there are quite a number, that are like six or seven that need to be uh, finished and uh, therefore be able to provide primary health care so that people can get the primary health care and we ease off um, the number of people who are going to Kirogoya or to the double three in Kimbimbe. Because in case of anything, we would like those hospitals left for the critical uh, patients. Finally, Kiambu Governor Dr. James Karanja Nyoro has called on leaders to stop politicizing the war on COVID-19, saying doing this will derail gains so far made by the state. The governor, who was speaking when he presided over the swearing-in of county executive committee member in charge of youth, sports and gender affairs, noted that if the war against COVID-19 pandemic must succeed, then leaders will have no option but pull in the same direction. I would really want to urge our politicians to stop, to stop politicizing the aspect uh, of uh, uh, food distribution. 
which we are going to roll out and roll out very, very, very effective. We have devoted adequate resources and we are very, very clear in our mind that we are separating the resources that we have devoted from the resources that is coming from the well-wishers in the county. Beatrice Getonying Etich, Channel One News.